Hey y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in one of Baxter Cycles' little shop areas in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. This is my hot rod Himalayan. I just got back from Canada last night at 11 p.m. I have uh, 14,300 miles, I think, on this bike now. 14,289 miles. How's that, huh? It'll be 10 weeks. Today is Wednesday. It'll be 10 weeks and Friday that I picked this up. I adjusted the headlight down. I was on the road last night but got, kept getting flashed, so I turned my headlight down. I want to show you guys that. That's kind of a really neat thing about it. So I'll show it to you on this bike. So the headlight, you can move it like that. But if you look right here, right there at that little doodad, that's the adjustment screw. You take an Allen wrench in from this side and turn it in or out to get that adjusted. So I got that done. Other things I want to do, um, I think I've got a little more life in this tire yet. They do have a, a Dunlop Trail Max mission for the front back in the warehouse. I got three or four of them, so I can change it, but I think I'm going to leave that on for another week or two. But here's the big one, the chain. So 1,400, 14,300 miles. I checked this chain. We adjusted it. I think it was Friday or Saturday. And then uh, I checked it and lubed it on uh, Monday morning. I got home last night and just look at this thing. I, I thought I checked it yesterday while I was, you know, when I left Canada. But just check that out. And uh, if you spin it, look at that. Kink right there. Kink right there. So something happened between, uh, you know, Monday morning and today. I got I got on the bike this morning, drove over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie. And it was making a slapping noise, so I'm gonna I'll pull this cover off and see if there's any damage in here. Hopefully, it's just the chain. The sprocket doesn't look that bad. Hopefully, this sprocket is fine. Um, I've got a new chain. It's a let's see right here. It's a 520. It's 116 lengths. Lengths. So we'll put that on. And uh, I also need a new Cush drive for the back. It's within tolerance, but it's loose, and uh, they've got those ordered. They ordered like half a dozen of them because they're going to need them, you know. They're selling these bikes like mad. Also, this is the back tire. Uh, this was put on at 7,600. We're at 14,300 about right now. So she's doing pretty good. You can feel a little bit of a flatness on it already, but it's uh, she's wearing pretty good. I've, I've had good luck with these tires. That's probably halfway through its life cycle right now. Brakes are working fine. It was a, It was a good bike for the trip. I had thought about staying in Canada and, uh, you know, just keep going north, and I'm glad I, I turned around. They had rain up there. That's one of the reasons I didn't uh, do that, but uh, I did turn around. I'm glad I turned around because that could have been an issue, even if I adjusted it out. You know, if the chain's breaking down, I could. I suppose I could have bought one to shop up there somewhere, but anyhow, I'll get that off, and uh, we'll see what we find under these here, and I'll show you all what I find. Well, all right, I pulled this cover off right here. This actually looks yeah. pretty good. Uh, you can see wear in here, but I think we're still within okay. Ground the rivets off of this. We're going to pop that off here in a second. I took the guard off here just to make it easier to work on. Of course, this one here over here, just full of garbage. We'll clean all this out here a little bit. But, uh, oh, look at all that crud. Just where's that? Where's that stuff come from? Okay, I got the chain off. So there's the uh, drive sprocket. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Uh, I, I don't really see wear. You know, there's maybe a little bit, not much. Same here. No, I need a cush drive, but we got new one ordered. It's coming. It should be here in a day or two. Like I guess they ordered half a dozen sets or something like that. When that comes in, I'll take this apart again and put it in. Because, you know, I, I want to be able to ride this bike tonight and tomorrow. And can't live without it, you know. So here's the chain. Look at that thing. Look how much of a bend that takes. <laughs> it's just a little. It's, uh, well, anyway, I'm going to get the new one ready. We'll get that on, and uh, we'll go on to the next step. Look at all this crud down here. Just to... Well, we got the chain on. There's the new one. It's got the all, all the grease on there. We adjusted it up. What we think is pretty good. Let me see if I can find the link that we uh, riveted. To, we riveted it together. We had the option to rivet. Or to, yeah, right there. Or to uh, use that master link, and we decided to rivet it a little stronger. Check that out. So... Hopefully that will serve us for a few thousand miles or more. Uh, now I'm going to put this plate back on, put that guard back on, and we'll get back. Okay, up. I got it all back together. 
got the cover back on got this guard back on we had a 160 i'm saying a 120 chain we cut it down to a 116 right there we uh cut the old link off to get the old chain off what else can i show you all anyway it worked out pretty good i already told you about adjusting the headlight we're going to keep the tire um, I think this is still good for a few more miles. I don't want to put one on any sooner than I have to. You know, we'll go, I think this has got 14,300 on it. So we'll see how much farther we can get. Then we'll put a Dunlop Trail Max mission on it. My other Himalayan has, uh, my old 411 Himalayan has 18 or 19,000 on the Dunlop Trail Max mission on the front. So, and this one has got about 7,000, just a little under. And it's, I bet it's good for another 7,000 or more. Feels really good anyway. No chunks missing out of it yet. <laughs> that will happen though. Hey, welcome to Fuzzy Biker Garage. We got the chain installed on the old hot rod Himalayan right here. Let me give you a look at that. Adjusted the headlight, put a little more air in the back tire. There's the new chain on there. Everything back together. I wanna thank Baxter Cycle for lending me their shop so I can do that, so I can make the video for you all. Check that thing out. Can you really see much of it? The sprockets were worn a little, but not enough to change. I've got new, uh, those little bumper things that go in there. We've got those coming, so we'll get those in. Tire looks fine, brakes look fine. We looked at everything, you know, looked at all that stuff again. Oh, just a great bike. I uh, rode it about six or eight miles tonight, so after the chain, that is. Anyway, yeah, thank, thank you, Baxter Cycle. Thank you, Jeremy, for all your help with us today. And uh, thank you all for watching. Thank if you all are interested in a bike like this, new or used, Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, other bikes too, check their website. Uh, go to BaxterCycle.com. Go to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Make sure you tell those fine folks Fuzzy sent you. Fuzzy biker, that's me. <laughs> I'm tired and wore out, I tell you. I did uh, 800 miles on this thing yesterday. So hit like and subscribe if you would. And uh, leave a comment and tell me about your bike experiences. And otherwise, uh, get on ride, get on ride, wahoo!